just going to want to head to plexapp.com and um, you just download whichever device you have. For example, I have download, I have Mac, so I would just download this one. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. But that's how you would uh, just download a free server on your computer. And then whatever um, files you have, maybe it's um, AVI or MPEG or whatever, it'll basically allow you to create a folder and put all your movies in that folder without having to convert them using an application like Handbrake for iTunes. Once you've downloaded Plex, go ahead and open it up. The thing that always tricks me about Plex is that you can't use your mouse. You either have to use the up, down, left, right arrows or the Apple remote. And I always end up forgetting that. So what you're going to want to do is either grab the Apple remote or press up and go to Plex Online and press enter. And then once that loads, you're going to scroll all the way down to more and press enter. And then once that's done, you're going to go to check for updates and see if you have any updates. And this is basically just going to Make sure your system's ready to go, and that way you can connect it with your jailbroken Apple TV. So now that that's done, you're going to scroll over into your mobile terminal, and you're going to SSH into your Apple TV. And if you haven't changed your password by now, I recommend that you do that. And um, you're going to copy and paste the command provided to you in the link. Um, just click the link and copy and paste it. It'll be a lot easier than typing this whole thing out. And then you're going to enter in the next command, which again, I'll show you I'm copying and pasting it. And when you're doing that, make sure that you copy and paste the exact thing because it's really easy if you get an extra space or whatever. The terminal won't read it. Then you're going to just click enter after you copy and paste it. Then you just need to type in apt-get update and it will install the program for you. Now you just need to type in apt-get install space plex-client-plugin press enter and you're almost done. Your last step is to type in kill all, one word, capital L O W T I D, low tide. Press enter and you'll see it'll just black out your Apple TV. But don't worry, it'll reboot. And then everything will load up and you're good to go. Now, Plex is still super new, so you won't be able to do much with it besides watch your AVI, WMVs, whatever kind of files that aren't readable in iTunes. Um, you can't listen to music or check out your photos on it yet, but it is still a lot more convenient than having to put files into Handbrake and convert them for iTunes. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.